until Carter Page. To the best of my knowledge, Carter Page never had a DonaldTrump.com email address, had no formal role in the campaign that I'm aware of. I don't think I've ever spoken to him. I don't think I've ever met him. No idea who Carter Page is, and yet today, the FBI spying on Carter Page means that the FBI was biased against Trump. Let's talk about it all. Senator Santorum, that does seem to be a little bit of a contradiction. How can, if, you, if Carter Page wasn't part of the campaign a year ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago, then why is the FBI spying on Carter Page all of a sudden anti-Trump? Well, I mean, they obviously were spying on Carter Page because they thought he, he was going to provide access to Trump. Whether he did or not is another question, but uh, at least from, I, I don't see the, frankly, I don't see the disconnect here. I mean, I, I think you can say, look, Carter Page was not someone who was deeply involved in the campaign, but if the FBI thought so, and they were, and they went about a process to, to spy on him because of that, that's the problem. Congressman? Yeah, Boyd, but you know that what brought Carter Page to the attention of the FBI was, was Donald the Australians. Trump. Yeah. And so well, that Donald happened Trump, long yeah. before. Yeah. And so you know, the Australians I, was uh, George Papadopoulos. Yeah, George this was, Papadopoulos. This was, yeah. That, yeah, Donald Trump mentioned him as one of the people that were in, advising him at a time when he didn't have very many advisors. But the point is, it was well before. <laughs> it, it was yes, well the before. Yes, the investigation. Yeah, that's, that's the most important point. Point. The investigation was well but before. But let me just before. 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 tell you, the thing that is really amazing to me is that I don't understand why the Republican leadership would go so far uh, as to support Trump in this manner. To me, I know that they're concerned about their agenda, but the fact that they would really go this far, that to put out a memo, that they would participate in undermining the investigation, or at least that's what they hope that this memo does. And so I just think that's a really sad thing, that their agenda of, of passing the tax, well, they called tax reform, but we know it was tax cuts. They blew this deficit up so that now they can come back and talk about Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare, that that agenda is so much more important than the safety of our elections and our democratic process. Can I ask you a question? You're on the yes. House Judiciary Committee, and the House Judiciary Committee put out a statement, the Democrats on the committee put out a statement saying that House Republicans are now accomplices to a shocking campaign to obstruct the work of the special counsel, to undermine the credibility and legitimacy of the Justice Department and the FBI, and to bury the fact that a foreign adversary interfered with our last election. Are you literally accusing I'm House not, Republicans not, of a crime? I am not going to sit here and say that they are guilty of a crime. We okay. know that it takes a lot of evidence for that. Well, accomplices fact, is a pretty big word. But the fact that they have gone this far to put out a memo like this where they only put out partial information as to say that the only reason why there was an investigation was because of the dossier. And they know better. They omitted the information. The fact that they have attacked the FBI, attacked the Department of Justice in the manner in which they've done, we've never seen that before. So why would they do this? The only reason to do this is to support the president. And to go that far to support the president, to push their agenda, I just think, I mean, I, I don't know where we're, where we're going with this. Can I talk about Carter Page for one second? Because Time Magazine obtained a letter that Carter Page uh, wrote in 2013 boasting about his connections with Russians. Quote, over the past half year, I've had the privilege to serve as an informal advisor to the staff of the Kremlin in preparation for their presidency of the G20 summit next month, where energy issues will be a prominent point on the agenda. Um, in 2013-2014, Carter Page was spied on by the FBI in a different FISA warrant. This person was on the radar of the FBI uh, and, in fact, cooperated with the FBI in their prosecution of a, a spy recruiter during that period. So he's, th this is the problem with Carter Page. He had a problem of connections with people that the FBI believed were Russian intelligence officials or were at least uh, passing information back to Russian intelligence officials. So that's what muddies the waters uh, here a little bit. And in, in the words of uh, Struther Martin, what we have here is a failure to communicate. The, the, the FISA warrant was really targeted at somebody they knew to be, uh, to have a relation with Russians. And so all of this spin about what it means for Trump or not, I think is well overblown, candidly. And uh, what could happen at the end of this is you find out the information in, that they found in those FISAs will disprove some of the common narratives that are on the outside. And I would argue that's why we should all let the investigation go forward. Mueller could get up next week and say, you know what? Nothing to see here. There's nothing that, uh, that he has said or indicated that there isn't. They have found these other folks doing something wrong. Some of them have pled guilty. It's certainly, you know, there's some optics problems they have at the very least, maybe some legal issues. But the fact that they went after Carter Page when he was uh, a target of FBI interest before, remember, these, uh, these intelligence warrants are not necessarily for criminal activity. They're trying to determine 
Is an intelligence officer operating in the United States? Are they cooperating with an intelligence or a, a person in the United States who would have access to give them information that they need? Mm -hmm. Then it would spin off into some criminal investigation. Um, and just to further that, I mean, John McCain basically said that releasing this memo or what he's seeing happen, we do not want to be the tools of Russia. Because remember, this whole thing is about Russia meddling in the election. And nothing has happened on that. In fact, on the Senate side, the Foreign Relations Committee, the minority, uh, put out a 200-page document that listed 10 specific actions that Congress could do to prevent Russian meddling in the election this year. And all of that has been lost in this, uh, this conversation about not just Carter Page and the memo, but about whether Trump is just using the Republicans to cover his own behind. We need to make sure that there's not a taint in this election. And you, yep. you would agree, you were a Russian hawk when you were uh, in, in the Senate. I mean, you would agree, we, the United States needs to do more to prevent meddling in the election. Ab no, look, absolutely. I think the, the, the fact that the Russians have tried to meddle in this election should be no surprise to anybody. But the fact is that we should, be, we should have counter, uh, countermeasures to try to prevent them and, 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 and mess with them as much as we can on our side. So uh, the reality Nothing's is, I agree, I, but I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think we have lost focus wow. on that, and we should focus more and, on and that. And can I say, the, the part of the Russian meddling, I, I, it it's going to be very hard for the prosecution to even come close to collusion. That is a near impossibility. But where the Russians did meddle, and I think we, we conflate these, is in using social media and yeah. cyber means. And they were very aggressive. Misinformation. And it's, which is interesting, we watched them do this in the 70s and the 80s, but they used to do it by sending a spy, mm. trying to recruit right. a reporter yeah, to write now. a story, a trying easier. to right. find an opposition right. party. <laughs> now they can talk to you in your living room on social media, and that's the part yeah. that we have to get our 30 seconds, around. Congressman. Well, many people say that's still continuing. Yeah. And so well, we do have an election a few months away, and really that's where all of our efforts need to be. And I don't see that coming from the Republican leadership. Any concern about the elections for the middle term. That's where our focus needs to be. I was just going to say just one, ex one quick example. They had, the Russians were sending out these photos of Aziz Ansari with his head photoshopped over a sign that said, um, avoid the lines, text your vote here, specifically targeted on social media to first time voters. Now, when you consider the voter suppression ads that were being sent. What about the president setting up a voting suppression commission? Well, yeah. that too. But all right, about the that's, a whole other show. That. that's a whole <laughs> totally other agree. show. Oh, well. Thanks one and all for being yeah. here, and thank you for agreeing to, to root for the Eagles. I appreciate it all four of you.